How's it what it do everybody? It's your boy Nocturne and welcome to Subnautica Below Zero. 1.0 finally released. This thing has been in early access for I don't know how long now. Uh, two years maybe but I played the first Subnautica. I never beat it because when that one was in early access I played it a lot. I got um, I eventually just got burnt out on it and after the final update for the game at least for like the story and like you know you could actually beat it and everything I just I just couldn't really get back into it because I had played it enough. I mean, okay, I only have 36 hours in uh, normal Subnautica, but still, I felt very burnt out. I couldn't go back to it. When this came out for early access, I immediately bought it. I haven't touched it, so I'm excited to jump right back into it. I'm ready to get like fully immersed, fully spooked, whatever. We're just going to go straight into survival. Those things are really weird. I'm going to try and read like all the little like lore bits because I know I know absolutely nothing about this game aside from like what I saw maybe like two I don't even know if it has been two years maybe it's just been a year and I'm making it sound like it was a longer time ago but yeah all I I just know like kind of what some of the creatures look like I don't know anything about what's so different about this game or anything I know it's obviously a sequel and I know what happens at the end of um the first Subnautica so we'll just we'll just see how it goes This is the farthest that I could take you on company space bucks, Robin. You sure you want this? The research is in everything. I'm gonna turn Please this audio me. down. <laughs> and Sam, we need to know what I don't wanna skip this cutscene. Meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. Ooh. Why is there a meteor storm? That looks so cool. Man, I wish that cutscene lasted longer. That looked really cool. Approaching 45. Oh, okay, okay. Speed. Surface temperature is Oh. That's terrifying. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Yeah, get out of there, girl. Ooh. Another parachute? That is. Okay, I'm sorry to... <laughs> the audio is just really loud. Uh... By half, yeah, let's, let's, let's try that. Welcome to 45, 46 feet. Okay, that is a lot more comfortable. Enjoy- Okay. Oh, oh my god. Okay, alright, I'm running. Jeez Louise. Oh, what are you? Oh, you can't you look at me. I don't like that. Oh god. Smokes. That did not go as planned. I should find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. Oh, you you make heat. Okay. This is... That entry sequence was really cool. I did not expect that. Oh, it's a little penguin. Uh, okay, it's not deep. Okay. Um. All right, let's, let's dive in. This shit has to be so cold. If I don't have, like, anything over my face. Oh, okay, there's some familiar fish here. Bladderfish, I, I need you. Some water later. My PDA sounds more... Futuristic, more. Of, oh my God! What? New blueprints okay, you guys are just diving down. <laughs> scared, scared me. Okay. Whoa, these things are so. Everything is so interesting looking. Oh, it's like little underwater croissants. <laughs> Holy crap! Wait, I heard a. There's, Oxygen. Oh. There's no way I heard a um. What are those things called in the fir the um? They were like the big whales. What were they called? Ooh, peepers. Peeper, come here. No. I'm gonna need food. I, I need food. Alright, come here. I know you're having fun. I'm sorry. New creature discovered. Arctic peeper. You guys look so pretty. Everything looks so pretty. Where are you? 
Bullseye Shroom. I saw bubbles coming at you. I don't know if you uh, see Glide Fragment. Oh, okay, so this thing looks like it powers itself. So, oh, it's a whole base. Oh, okay, yeah, this is, so this is basically, yeah. All right, so from the first game. Uh, sorry about your sister. I want to offer my sincerest condolences on the passing of your sister. I got to know Sam better towards the end of my mandate with Altera on 4546B, when we were thrown together as base mates at Outpost Zero. She spoke often and fondly of you. I thought you should know. It didn't sit right with me when Altera blamed Sam's death on negligence. The Samantha Ayu I met was many things. Kind, clever, devoted to her work, but never negligent. I wish I could offer you something more substantial, but my access to information has been cut off. You may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave, and there might still be information to be found there. It has a big radio tower, impossible to miss. I hope you find the answers you seek. Lillian Bench. So, I'm looking for my sister, or I'm looking for the cause of death as to why my sister died, is why I'm getting from that. Uh, on behalf of Zeta Landon, 4546B, uh, robotic section leader, and Indra Cormac, president of Altera Transgov, I regret to inform you of the death of Samantha Ayu. Uh, she died on planet 4546B, regrettably as the result of injuries sustained in an accident arising from her own negligence. Please allow me to communicate the most profound condolences for the loss of your sister. See, okay, telling someone that they die, their sister died of their own negligence, and then I'm like, I'm sorry for your loss. They died of their own, you know. <laughs> don't, you don't put that in the same, oh, that just sounds so cold. I mean, this is Altera. It is just like a corporation we're talking about here. Uh, while further details are unavailable at this time, you will receive contact from the Department of Insurance and Recoup... Re Recuperation, jeez, concerning your responsibilities as next of kin with regards of repayment of damages and legal. Ah, if you have any questions, you may file from uh, Bleh, and your query will be addressed in sequential order. Oh yeah, Altera was kind of greedy. It's like, oh yeah, uh, you know this titanium you found? Uh, yeah, you're gonna owe us money for using this. Uh, you know what does Sam sound like? Robin, guess what? Okay, I got the job. I'm going to 4546B. Now I'll be able to improve the mechanical avian amphibian under real-world stress conditions. Listen, I know your stance on Altera, but I just hope you're happy your sis is happy. I sure hope my sis is happy. Okay, so we, we know what she sounds like. I'm just going to read through because it's a little faster. Uh, can't tell we, till we talk again. Oh, I wanted to ask you something. Can you watch Augie? Aggie? Augie? While I'm away, I need someone I can trust to look after my best little potato. Uh, potato, listen, I tried, but the name is just not sticking. He's my little... <laughs> uh, I'll leave the starchy tuberous nicknames to you. Anyway, if you say yes, thanks, baby sis. Love you. Um, remember when we... Okay, I'm just going to kind of read through this, and any, like, important parts I go through, I'll just leave in the video, I guess. Say goodbye to mechanical, avian, amphibian, and hello to spy penglings. We're training the bots to mimic the creatures. Check out the... So they're making robots of the of the life that's down here. Uh, is it raining? Hang on. Well, Sam, I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. Hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Will said. It's hailing. Or is it raining? I can't tell. I guess it's raining. Okay, anyway, sorry. Back to back to lore reading. I saw my hair. I don't have a helmet on. My face is freezing. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm a bit worried about my other baby, the mission. One of my pinglings found something. Something big, but Altair is just like nothing this year. Honestly, kind of glad you can't answer so you can't, you know, rub it in my face. Go ahead bask in the fact that you were a little bit right about them. My project is on the line, my job, my safety. Um, I heard about Xeno Warks getting bought. I'm sorry, but at least you stopped your job. I guess you're one of us now. Like it or not, welcome to the Altera family. I should probably go before I say something I regret. Love you. Keep your chin up. I don't think any price. Uh, 
was so awful. I've been under a lot of stress. Not sure what's going on with anything. Can't really talk about it either. Oh, and I'm definitely not dating anyone. Uh, if you're mad at me after what I said, but I could really use a friend or my sister. I love you. We need someone to know. I'm afraid something terrible is going to happen. You were completely right about all terror. Okay, you were right. I was wrong, and the cat should be called Potato. I admit it. Uh, sorry, but I attempted a joke. I just don't know what to do. I guess I should just come out and say it at this point. I've said this much already. I found a frozen leviathan that's infected with... That's not good, because the whole planet was supposed to be cleansed at the end of... Um... At the... Well, if it's frozen, yeah, that, that's probably why it didn't get cleansed. So... There is, so that means there was a version of the, there, there's, the infection is still living because it was obviously, um, Midna, I'm trying to talk, hush, um, because it's encased in the ice, it's basically, um, what would you call that? I can't think of the word right now, but y you get the idea. Uh, Terra thinks they can use it for something, weapons, experimental treatment. Wait, weapons? Weren't weapons, like banned after the whole thing on like a Braxis Prime so you can only have knives? What? A whole range of things, but one end of the range is ugly. Dangerous, but profitable, of course. But <laughs> something just hit my drop pod. Uh, what if it gets out while we're messing around with it? Or worse, what if it ends up a bio weapon in the wrong hands? I hope I'm overreacting, but I don't think I am. Anyway, message me back, please. I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. Okay. On arrival. Welcome to adventure modes. You know, worker, you have a right. I'm sorry for like the whole dump of just text, but I want to know as much as I can uh, through the game. Uh, survival checklist. Retreat to a safe environment. Check. Administer first aid if required. Uh, okay, check. Retrieve emergency supplies if available. I, I guess check. Uh, survey the environment for threats and resources. I'm about to do that. Find or construct a reliable habitat. Construct necessary survival equipment using the uh, locate. Okay, and okay, let's see. Uh, climates are advised to take additional precautions. High winds can result in rapid onset of hypothermia. Keep an eye out for natural shelter or restorative hot springs. If wearing a standard issue uh, suit, bodies of water may provide safety from extreme cold. Okay, unexpected detours occur. You never know how long you'll be away from home base. Remember to pack a lunch and a toasty hot beverage. Can't say there's enough layers. Uh, okay, okay. So I got all that. Oh, that was a lot. Okay, we really, we really need to eat. <laughs> and then I'll make some water. And it's probably already nighttime out there. Thank God it doesn't just... Oops, I didn't mean to do that, but I'm really glad you can pin recipes now. That's nice. Uh, we're just going to... Oh, it tells you how... Actually gives you like a little bar. That's so nice. Okay. Oh yeah, it's nighttime. Hey, Blyfish. I don't think I have any story. Well, should be able should... to use this. Yeah, it's copper. Can use that for a lot of stuff. Do I have any storage in here? I didn't check. Milestones galore. Oh, this is my storage. Uh, I'll store you guys for water usage later. Uh, about dropping into an unknown area. Oh, this. So this is my personal log. Okay, so I'll probably get to know this character through the log, or through the PDA, to get further. It is fairly dark. I think my first... I should have probably looked at, uh... Ooh. Oh, this place, this, like, thing was in the concept art for, like, the first Subnautica. Okay. Oh, that's quartz. I'm swimming really slow. I don't have anything. Titanium. Okay, we need to go up. So I should honestly actually Oxygen. look at what I need to get, because I'm assuming I need to get um, a scanner first, so I can start getting like the sea moth. For Ooh. All right. <laughs> So I'm assuming I need to get a scanner first, so I can get like the sea moth fragments and all that good stuff. So I think a scanner. Cookie, because I could use some more food. So let's see, resources, electronics. Uh, wait, no. Uh, tools, yeah. So scanner needs a battery, which I know needs copper, which I have. I need ribbon plants. So probably to get that, I'm going to need knife, silicone, rubber. 
I did see some creep vines um, very briefly. Let me just eat that. It's like over. Where did I see it? Over there, yeah. Interesting how. Because I mean, I would think creep vines are like the equivalent of like real world algae or whatever, right? I'm just like surprised this kind of plant can survive out here in the cold. Ooh, what a weird color. Oh yeah, what are, where are the stalkers at? Are there stalkers here? That's so cool. Okay, we're gonna grab some more synthesized. All right. I hear you. Oh, what Oxygen. are you? Where are you? Okay, well, I gotta get air. Sorry. I was hailing again. I'm loving the soundtrack so far, too. Ooh, more copper. Good. All right, I'll probably be skipping around the video just so it's not, like, just me swimming. Like, if I have anything interesting to say, obviously I'm going to stop it, but this is cool so far. Uh, beacon. I'll make you blue. Okay, uh, so now silicon rubber. Oh, it makes two. Cool. Oh yeah, I need ribbon plant, duh. So we'll make the knife. And what can I make out of? Ah, fiber, how do I? Ah, okay, so I'm gonna make the fins first and then I'll probably try and get the standard O2 tank. Yeah, that's that's what we're gonna do. So let's get some more silicone. Let's turn it on the silicone, yeah. Alright, uh... Oh, I could have turned more to... So. H2O2. Oh, could you do that in the first one? I don't know. I don't know if you could. Oh, wait. I need those for, um... So I can swim faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, um... Okay, auto-equip them. 15%. Didn't mean to do that, but I should save. <laughs> Okay, let's go back and get some creep vine samples now that I have a knife. Yeah, knifey knife. Alright. Actually, I like you better on two. Yeah. Two creep vine samples. Your blueprint synthesized. Hmm. Oh, there's another sea glide thing right there, so if I can just get oh, hello. Oh, whoa! Wait. Hello. Oh, oh, hey, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Hey. down here is very grabby. I'm I'm going to drown. Oh my god. Okay, so these things take your items. Oh, shit, where'd you go? Is that you? Give me that back. Good lord, I thought I just <laughs> Okay, note to self, what, you're a sea monkey, I think is what that said. Okay, they take your shit. At least they don't hurt me, but good lord. I'll take the quartz. Oh, it's one of the penguin guys. Hello. You scared away my peeper, man. Were you do You having fun? Oxygen. Alright, alright. So I need to find ribbon plants. Wait, do I need two fiber mesh for the... No, I didn't. Okay, I just need to get the titanium out of here. Never mind, I need one more titanium. Stop pot. Sorry, had it. So what's in here? Oh, are these ribbon plants? This is... This ribbon does... Plants contain electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. Okay. Actually, you know what? Okay, if I don't have any items out, the sea monkeys can't take my shit. <laughs> Probably, right? Let's see, what was that? Okay, I need more titanium. And sadly, I don't think there's any going to be any titanic debris because there wasn't a shipwreck here. There was a meteor storm, though. I don't know if those would have titanium. Probably not, but <laughs> Oxygen. one can be hopeful, right? Okay. Uh... Gonna make a nice O2 tank. 
and then... additional blueprints to your data bank. Okay, so I need the, the standard oxygen copper bank now. can be upgraded for deluxe and VIP breathing. And then for a scanner, I need one more titanium. Gosh. Um, floating air pump. Okay. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. And a waterproof locker. All right. So, yeah, let's go get more titanium. And I need to get more... Oh, wait. I think I already have bladder fish. But every, every time I go out, I always try and get, like, more bladder fish because... You can never have enough until you have like a more sustainable just source of water or anything. That's lead. I don't think I'll need lead for a little bit. Uh, oh man, that O2 tank helped a lot. Oh, there's like a little more ribbon plants. I mean, okay, they don't take up, they only take up one space. So we can, okay, that noise was a little creepy. I heard like a, oh, or something. I don't know what that was. I don't think I don't think I should be in, I would encounter anything too scary. Like this is basically the safe shallows. So, what the One hell minute, is that? 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yes, thanks, Karen. I'm just gonna call her Karen. It reminds me of like the little computer helper from like SpongeBob, you know, for Plankton. Okay, back to my back to my pod. So many interesting noises too, and the soundtrack is a lot more um not necessarily noticeable, but it's a lot more active, yeah, because um, in the first one it was more just like ambient noise, but in this one I really do like how the soundtrack is more here. I'm assuming the further we go in terms of like either story progression or just really in the depths it'll get more quiet, but at least here in the shallows I'm glad there's some back. I always like some kind of like background noise, it just helps, honestly. Okay, so I'm good on that. I have to wait. Oh, okay. I was like, since I associated that with like my hunger and my water, I was like, what do you mean I can eat the battery? <laughs> okay, scanner. All right. All right, I have a scanner. Well, we can make another battery, but I'll I'll wait on that. So let's just store everything. Quit hitting escape, Doctor. Da. Ah. All right, and. Now there's, oh, I need three for the sea glide. Well, I know I saw, where did I see the other one? It was near the creep vine area, pretty sure. I think I just saw it, but I'm not sure. Oh wait, is that a creature egg? Okay, that's like pulsing. That's definitely a creature egg. Yeah, ugh. Ooh, I can scan things, but I'm gonna wait to scan until I can get my, uh... ooh, that looks pretty. I'm gonna wait to scan until I can get the sea glide at least. Sea glide parts, where are you at? Oh, excuse me? Okay, I don't know what I don't know what everything over there is. Whoa, that thing is like What are you? You are like glowing. I should have scanned you. Dang. Wait, if I release you, are you gonna Nope. Okay, well. That was sad. That was sad on my part. I should have just scanned it. Maybe it was like frozen. Maybe that's all it was. I don't know where I saw the other sea glide part. Oh, interesting. I don't want to go over there. Oxygen. Okay, you didn't even warn me about 30 seconds that time. What gives? Is it because I called you Karen? <laughs> Oh, whoa. It's like a whole... Okay. Hang on. I'll make my way there while also keeping an eye for... What is with, like... There's so many noises. Okay, yeah. Ooh, ooh, wait, what's that? What? I mean, that's a sea glide fragment. So I'll gladly take that sea truck. What the hell is a sea truck? Okay. Ooh, more. Okay. So 
we got that. Uh, I'll I'll still wait. Warning. There. Thirty seconds Ooh, of oxygen you? remaining. I'm going up. I'm going up. Oh, there's more stuff here. Okay. Uh. Oh, I was kind of deep. Okay. Oh, that is like blinding. Ooh. Oh, hey, little guys. Okay, so what is here? Mineral detector. Okay, so this will help me find like the resources I need. Uh. New blueprint synthesized. Oh. Oh, okay. So like the things she was saying earlier just kind of goes into my uh my little PDA logbook. You call that? That's not even a truck. I can't tell if it has treads or not, but it just looks like it goes around. Like, what? Advanced underwater vehicle with attachable modular cabins. Okay. I guess. Can't seem to do anything with that. All this is just here. A flare I'm probably never going to use. A nutrient block. I collected those in the first one just to be like, hey, look at all these nutrient blocks. Okay, I can't jump off, so. All right, there we go, jeez. I mean, nothing is in the cage. Not gonna touch that. What is, ah, oh, there's so much, but I don't wanna get too, too sidetracked. Light stick fragment. Okay. First aid. Oh, beacon. Yes. Beacons are good. Disinfected water. I'll keep that too. I'll scan all you guys in a bit. <laughs> all right, let's go back. Wait, out this way. Maybe I should change it because I, I couldn't see it at first. Uh, beacon manager, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll make it yellow. Okay. Oh, I can just make a beacon right now if I wanted to. Uh, new tools, mineral detector, copper wire battery. It's quite a bit of copper you're asking for. I think that's like three copper. Uh, we'll wait on that because, oh, is it equipment? No, it's deployables. Okay. Battery. Lubricant. Copper wire. Yeah. So that's what we need that for. Um, I don't know how many of you I need. Something like that. All right. So first, any more ribbon plants? Uh, boom. I have them. Great. All right. So we got battery. Copper wire. Nice. And we got to make lubricant. There we go, we should have a sea glide. Or tools? No. Deployables. Yes. Yes. Alright, cool. The sea glide is a personal transportation device used for high speed free diving. Contains a built in light and map. Okay. So we have all that. Uh, I am gonna make you into water real quick, so I'm gonna save the disinfected water. So I think the disinfected water gives you more? Plus 35, plus 25, yeah, so it does give more, so I'll save that. Um, so now that I have a sea glide, we're gonna put that to one, you'll be three. I guess I could make a mineral detector. It doesn't seem like a bad idea, but I also need to crystalline so I don't want to have to find the suicidey little fish. Come on. <laughs> I don't want to do that. But yeah, so I guess my next things should honestly be, yeah, the mineral detector and the laser cutter. So I'll need three copper, two ribbon plants. Yeah, three copper, two ribbon plants, because I have enough... I have enough silicone and rubber, pretty sure. Oh yeah, I, I definitely do. So I just need to find copper at this point. All right, well, let's start scanning. Oh, oops. Let's start scanning stuff. And then I will read them when I get back into the pod. 
Come back, let me scan you. And let me eat you. Ah, got him. <laughs> oh, I need air. I'll come back Oxygen. to scan you. <laughs> Whoa. Hello. Scan the whole bridge. Jeez. There's so much to scan. Double lung plant. Oh, more ribbons. Wait, what? Oh, red board. I remember you from the first game. Uh, how much copper do I have? I think I need. Yeah, I still need two more. I didn't get any more. Oh my gosh. There's just so much. I'm gonna have to read through so much. Oh, oh, give me. That's copper. Give that to me. There we go. Jeez. That stubbornly was like, no, you will not get the copper. You will not pass go and you will not receive $200. There's a hundred dollars. No, I think it's 200. All right, all right. One more copper. Ooh, yeah, this looks promising. Hello? Copper? Never mind, this doesn't look promising anymore. I just went the wrong way is all. Ooh, okay, one of these is the, there we go. All right, we're just gonna keep, we're just gonna break all of them. There we go, we got an extra copper in case we need another battery. I forgot I had the Seagui this whole time. Oh, you can't turn off the minimap anymore? Why would they? Oh, wait, no, you can't toggle F. All right, there we go. I wonder if it actually saves your battery. Like, I never actually, um, that's something that's never really stayed, is like, if you turn off the light, obviously you would think it would save battery, but it's something the game never really says, like, oh, if you turn off this thing, it'll actually, like, you know, uh, save you some battery. Okay. Or maybe it does, and I just don't remember. Uh, silicone rubber. We got here. So, boom. Got a nice little mineral, mineral detector. detector raw materials, potentially saving you hundreds of hours of searching. Yes, thank God. Uh, we're gonna just cook and then get more water. So we're all good. Uh, we'll put you to four. Limestone chunk. Gold, silver, quartz, copper. Out oh, chance of lead. Oh, fragment, titanium, outcrop. Ah, okay, so this is what I need. So what what all is there? Oh, there's a lot, okay. All right, so I need the sulfur for, yes. I just need one. So, okay, while that's searching, I don't know if it's gonna search while I look through all this. Remote deposit that often contains lead and titanium. Okay, so it only contains lead and titanium. Limestone has titanium and copper. All right, Fauna. We all we all know the uh, the little peeper. Don't like the auto-generated name suggests ice clops. What? Uh, intelligent, allowing it to survive in large number. Firefish. Well, okay. To be honest, I'm not gonna read through all the ones that I already know. But like, where are all these? Uh, fungi found growing near coral bridges. The mushrooms are noteworthy for their thick, meaty caps. These caps manage to produce a small amount of chlorophyll, which makes it capable of photosynthesis, but the mushroom still gets most of its nutrients from dead matter in the sea floor. Harvestable and plantable. Okay, so I can probably get some of those, and it might unlock like a blueprint kind of thing for me. Rapidly growing coral polyps that exhibit thigmotropism. Uh, which causes growth in response to stimuli or when touching a solid object. Coral bridges grow in thick, twisted patterns that anchor onto rocks or other coral. It's covered in colonies of blue barnacle. Creation of luna plant, double lung plant grows in shallow water branches, grow off of the main stem, and each branch develops a chamber. Each chamber is self-sustained by its branch. If one branch dies or is destroyed, the other's branch chambers will utilize the nutrients left behind. Eventually, a new chamber will grow in the empty space. Okay, so they don't have any uses uh okay i mean grass like species okay so this can't be used for well i mean obviously this can be used for something 
Highly concentrated sulfuric acid and can be harvested for use in battery fabrication. To discourage fauna from eating the leaves of the rubber plant. Uh, core must not be compromised in order to avoid creating an exothermic chemical reaction. Uh, we know about shelf coral. The twisted mandrake grows in temperate coral. Its leafy canopy photosynthesizes sunlight while providing shade. And I know about that. Okay, well, cool. So this is still searching, but I need to actually be out here. So I'm not really sure how this works, but I'm gonna just... There we go. Well, that didn't unlock any... Oh! It's food. I thought maybe we could use it in, like, crafting and stuff, but I guess not. Okay, I can't tell if that was something peeking out of the water, if that was just more of the penguin guys. Oh, this is back towards, um... Yeah, that's back towards this thing, so I kind of know where I'm at. Oh, there's little babies! Oh! This thing is still searching. Oh my goodness, look at you. Oh, you fell down. Oh, goodbye. Oh, okay, where... What is the range on this thing? Replenish... Oh, okay. It's just straight up an oxygen plant. Gotcha. Don't mind if I do. Okay, see, this goes deeper. I'm not sure if I'm ready for this. Kelp root. There's some salt there. I haven't picked up salt yet. This thing is still searching. What is that? Oh, it's a sea monkey nest? Mobile V... Oh my goodness. Yeah, these guys just, uh, they just grab everything, don't they? Oh, and these look like the blood vine things. Root pustule. Oh, I know you. I hate you. you seem a little stuck. Oh, okay, they don't immediately pop out. Are you gonna tell me there's... Okay. I see you. Fine. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, that lighting made that quartz like glow and glisten. You know what? Okay, sea monkey. That's not the sea monkey. That's a creep vine. Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, it starts scanning on a new one. Nope. Okay, don't take my stuff, please. I'm sure you guys are all nice and dandy. I just don't want you taking my stuff. Oh, I should have gotten air. While I was over here. So that's something to look Oxygen. out for. You can't just go up anywhere for air. You have to find places that aren't blocked off by everything else. So now we can scan the creep vine. So, aside from Mr. Suicide blow up in your face, F you fish, we haven't really encountered any hostile fauna, which I guess is a good thing <laughs> so far. Um, I need that for what again? Oh yeah, the repair tool. So, gonna get that. Gonna get a repair tool. And I don't need a flashlight just because I have the sea glide. So, it would uh, reactor compound. Okay, I mean it would seem I have all the base stuff. Carnivores, crash fish. I know about that. Okay, pangling. And penguins tend to huddle on dry land when their next meal. Consume almost exclusively fish regurgitated by the adults in the huddle, which is gross, but that's that's just what normal penguins also kind of do. Stay in the center of the huddle to stay warm. And when if separated from the huddle, the adults will become agitated and begin searching for their young penguins. So please don't do this. <laughs> A bird-like creature hunts. It's like birds just knocking up against your window. I just have fish hitting up against my freaking life pod. 
Uh, so prayer, good taste for young. Retractable tail and claws allow for fast evasion of predators underwater and maximum grip on the ice. Sharp teeth concealed inside the beak can tear chunks out of the aggressors of prey alike. Huddles and packs. All right. The sea monkey, the thing that likes taking my crap. Yeah, your threat level is really low. A uh, medium-sized intelligent herbivore, which shows great interest in other life forms and their possessions. More research is needed to understand this life form and its behavior. Two finger-like appendages on each forearm are tipped with suction pads for basic object manipulation. Its large tur turquoise uh, crest is made of rigid bone is possibly used as a ram, although this has not been observed. Okay. Uh, roamed the ocean almost playfully, largely fearless of predators. Seen to form small nests near where they hoard objects. Yeah, we saw that. Large bull-like structure made it. Yeah. Often drawn to metallic materials. Okay. Interesting, interesting. And we know about creep vines. Uh, contrary to its name, the visible aspect of kelp root is thick, twisted stem. Oh! So I can go back and get kelp root. Okay. And the oxygen plant. Alright, alright. So. I don't know where I'm necessarily supposed to go now, but. We can either hunt for some materials, which I don't think would be too, uh, what is it? I don't think that'd be too profitable. Like, sure, it would save me some time later, but I think right now, oh yeah, I'll go ahead and save. I think right now, I just need to start exploring. So, uh, I'll take you, make some water, and then we'll be on our way. And yeah, let's, let's try and go back to where we saw like the oxygen plants. I wonder if that, I'm assuming the oxygen plants replenish themselves after a certain amount of time. It has to be a timer thing. God, it's so bright. All right. Ooh. It's not, wait, ooh. You know, when it's not stormy out, it actually looks pretty outside. I'm not saying I don't like storms, but at least on this planet, storms look uh, brutal. Okay, so the oxygen plants do, oh, this is a new spot. I don't know where you are, but I don't like you. What do you, what do you have? Oh, I already have. I'll take the titanium. I'm fine. Oh, you're near the oxygen plant. Well, that's rude. Yeah, I'm. No, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Don't kill yourself, please. I don't know where I went to go down, but I'm just gonna keep uh. We're just gonna keep trucking. Oh, hello. What are you? Oh, okay. You must be a relative to the uh, to the stalkers. Yeah, you guys definitely remind. You guys look more like sharks. Root shark. Okay, yeah, I was right. Okay, so first aggressive mob. Ow. Okay. Thankfully, you don't do too much damage. Jeez. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. I'm gone. Two more ribbon plants. I I already scanned you, but I'll take you. Warning. Thirty seconds of yeah, oxygen I know. remaining. Ooh, maybe it was down there. I don't know. You know, if I'm gonna be exploring, I should have brought a med pack with me. All right, let's go deeper down this way. Oh, there's more brute sharks. Okay. How did I not see you guys before then? I was, well, I guess I wasn't really deep, but ooh, that's a sea truck part. What is that? Okay, it's fast, whatever it is. Hey, hey, hey. What are you? You look really cool. What it? Wait, wait, hey. Oh, they're hostile towards each other. Okay. I know you're also hostile towards me. Cryptosuchus. Such as okay, I'll leave you alone. Give you some space. New creature discovered. Okay, new scary things. I mean, thankfully nothing happened, but still, I don't know how much damage it does. I don't want to die. I'm good. New blueprint. Um, plus steel ingots. Ruby. I feel like I'm far off from finding that. I really need to find. Some, wait. Is it wanting me to make 
Well, I need to find more mobile vehicle bay parts. So, I don't have a habitat builder. So, I guess my next thing is I need to get mobile vehicle bay parts. So, I can build this sea truck, I guess. That's, that's what I'm getting at. So, I'm not going to heal right now, but I'm definitely going to bring a, uh, a first aid with me. Because starting to find more hostile monsters. I'm also... Oh, wait. I think I need this, not titanium. I'm also going to make another battery, because just in case I run out... Yeah, I feel like I'm really far off from getting a ruby. Enable glass. Okay. Upgrades. Well... Can't really do anything with that. Uh, I'll catch you. Discovered. And a bladder fish so I can refill. Well, you know what? Come here. Come here. Come here. So I can just stock myself up and then we'll go back out into the ocean. Well, I haven't cooked a hook, a hook fish yet, so why not? I mean, that, that's basically full. We'll save the peeper for later. Okay. Oh, I didn't read my, uh, the scans I just did. I'll, I'll do that when I, uh, when I come back. More ra You know, I'm just gonna grab these out, like, every time I see them. Just for more batteries. What are you? You're like a big, you have a big hole. You're like a big hoop fish. Whoa, wait, what the? Ow! What? What just hit me? Oh, okay. What are you, Titan hole fish? Jeez. Yeah, you got a, got a massive viewing part. Can I swim through? Ow! Stop! Can I? Oh. Well, thank you. Well, I didn't replenish much, but oh, there's a few of them. Oh, well, that just broke. Okay, what are you? I saw you like brine wing. I saw you like. Shoot out like your tongue or something. I don't know if you're aggressive towards me. I guess not. Uh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Didn't shoot out a tongue. But you definitely shoot something. I don't like how dark it is here. I mean, it is underneath everything. Okay, so you guys are basically like the biters. It's just symbiote. That's what you're called. Okay. Oh, there's more stuff over there. Frost anemone. Okay. Can I... Oh. Uh... Cool. Gives me H2O. It is really dark. Water, thank you. Oh, PDA. Okay, I know this is supposed to be like a waypoint kind of thing, but... Okay, let's, let's go back. It is really dark. I'm running low on oxygen. Well, there are the Titan Hole fish. It's so... Oh, well, it's also nighttime. That's why it's also really dark. So, is that all these are used for is... I guess so. I guess you could technically stock up on those, and then whenever you go out, like, into a deep dive, you just start you know, eating them underwater and you get more <laughs> more oxygen. Is that how that works? <laughs> Where am I going? I don't know. Just exploring. Ho, ho, ho. Boomerang. You know, I said I was going to grab these every time I saw them, but I'm starting to think I can, I can probably stop grabbing them now. All Terra supply cash nearby. Ooh. Don't tell me that's like the one I just got. <laughs> Okay. That was a new noise, but yeah, this is a different one. How come you didn't detect the other one? I just had to find the other one. More first aid. Flare. More water. Ooh, that's a grab trap. I've never actually used them in the first Subnautica. Maybe I'll have to use them in this one. But before that, I'll have to find another blueprint. Oh, hello. Don't mind me. Just getting lost. 
Okay, from straight forward, I didn't know what that was coming at me. It looked really weird. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna go a little deeper now. Oh wait, yeah, I can get samples of these things. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, you didn't open up. And what are you? Radiant Sieve Coral. Okay, well I can get a, I'm assuming I can just get a sample from any of these. Never mind. Cannot. Oh, there's an oxygen plant here. Very nice. I'll get that in a second. Leave me alone. I'm not gonna hurt you. Whoa. This place is cool. Oh, I can scan you. Oh yeah, I guess I haven't seen these yet. Did I just get silver? Pog, I got silver, all right. Silver is like one of the things you need for like wiring kits and stuff. So I thought I could harvest those from what my PDA was talking about them. Wait, this thing might have more silver. Ugh. Yo, let's go. Maybe silver isn't as, it wasn't necessarily like rare in the first Subnautica, but I personally had a hard time finding it. Ooh, okay, what do you guys have? Laser cutter, nice. Not exactly what I'm looking for. Looking for a habitat builder, if anything. Another oxygen plant. Now he's out. Ah, no, don't kill yourself, please. I'm sorry. Ugh. Let's go deeper. Warning, passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm just kind of... I don't know Morse code, I'm sorry. Is this just a that dead sounds end? sounds like a distress call. Transmission of unknown origin. Source of transmission depth calculated at approximately 200 meters. 200 meters? Oh! What the heck are you? Wait, come back. Spinner fish. <laughs> oh, those are so cool. That's so funny. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, I need to actually get out of here. Because... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Alright, yeah. I need to get out. Because I don't know when the oxygen plant. Oh, okay. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, wait. That's another yes. Okay, one more. See, I would keep going by just. I think finding a new one would. Wait. Oh, I've already. Oh, I can just take the beacon. Cool. Territory. Show or hide the signals of your choice with your Xenoworks PDA. Now it's surface support. What is... Okay, nothing's really over here. Can I scan the little shrubby wubs? Nope. Alright, yeah, we'll just we'll head back with what we got. Oxygen. Okay, so yeah, those things, like freeze or they do they do something to the other fish because that's what happened to that peeper okay well now that i'm back i mean i made a lot of water <laughs> boop 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 i uh, will just keep the boop boop boop, boop. running out of storage because i keep just gathering stuff um i'll turn you guys into silicon because you take up a lot of storage space <laughs> Or, you know what, I'll turn you into lubricant. Oh, wait, no, it makes two silicone. I can't store all that. Ah! <laughs> what have I done? Oh, no, I can't. Okay, cool. So, just can't really collect a whole lot after that. So, what do we have, Altera? Uh -huh. Ah, jeez. These sea monkeys are gonna get me in trouble. 
This is the third shipment that those buggers have gotten their weird little hands into. <laughs> now we're running low on flares, and I'm gonna have to search nearby nests for stolen cargo. They're lucky they're kind of cute. Raccoons of the sea, those ones. Yeah. I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? I don't think so. I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. <laughs> There's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave. Not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. Don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I'm no biologist, but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. An alien on planet 4546B. <laughs> no. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. Wish I could show you, but I can't get back in there. You can't. But I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. You know, what if she died because she found the frozen alien, which still had the um, infection, and she got infected and died from that. That's why I'm assuming what happened. Picked up what sounds like a distress call. Who or what is out here calling for help? Didn't sound human. Maybe it's from a remnant of architect technology. In her message, Sam's colleague did say there was something important here. Even if it's just a mimic from one of the more intelligent aquatic specimens, that could be a major find. Or if it's from Altera, it could have bearing on what happened to Sam. I should definitely check it out. Okay, let's, let's read some of these. So, Brine Wing. Oh, it probably just hyperjets the water. I should have figured that out from the name. And to spit super cooled salt water to freeze its prey from afar. Watch fire on the brine wings underside fills the seawater as it's okay. Trail membrane leaving behind a strong saline solution. Two flat transparent extendable fins act as radiators, releasing heat and cooling the bladder's contents. Brine wing can then collect contract its bladder, expelling the super cool brine and freezing the Ugh. <laughs> That's kinda gross, but like cool at the same time. Alright, brute sharks. So yeah, these guys are basically stalkers, I'm assuming with low intelligence. Uh, fast navigation, provides camouflage in shallow water, slow moving and but slow moving my ass, like, I guess I, I guess I can see it. Okay, this guy, I wanna know more about this guy. This dude looked intense. Large shark-like beast, easily identifiable by its carapace of thin bony plate structure. These plates are defensive bony structures that aid in heat absorption among thermal vents. Propels itself with wide width. I'm assuming these guys are basically like the bone sharks. I guess, but their threat level is kind of high. Uh, is a bit of a contradictory creature. Despite its fearsome appearance, it is more roar than bite. While territorial, it tends to retreat from confrontation after being attacked once. It's likely a form of agnostic posturing. Aggressive fauna tend to avoid fights if the probability of injury is too high. Okay, so if I hit him with my knife, as much as I don't really want to harm anything out here, um, he'll retreat is what I'm getting from that. Okay, yeah, these guys are basically the biters. Huge energy reserves can move quickly. Like their eggs inside the gills of the titan whole fish. So they're kind of like parasites, I guess. Poor titan fish. Catcher neutralized to approach the titan whole fish. Oh, it's a, uh, well, maybe they're not like parasites. Maybe it's like a symbiotic relationship. Herbivore, which emits oxygen, is defended by, okay, yeah, so it's symbiotic. Uh, slow, stupid, and delicious? Okay. Uh, line the inside of the hole, drawing cold water. Make the whole fish their home. Might be it's more or less at random. So while entirely beyond basic survival mechanisms like speed, intelligence, or hunting, it exists in a semi-permanent state of unreflective calm, swimming forward on impulse, fully trusting the complex ecosystem which supports it. Okay. So, this was saying... I can catch these guys, apparently. I don't think you can catch the biters in the normal. All right, we know the boomerang. What's the spinner fish? These guys look so funny. Fish, uh, okay, so not the, so they're not a threat, uh, which it spins to generate propulsion capable of very high speeds in a straight line, slow, wide turning circle. 
Like other small prey fish, they feed on a variety of season. Okay, I want to catch some of these guys. As soon as I make a base, I want to catch some of these guys and make an aquarium. They look so funny and cool. Makes light. Prefer shallow water and ample exposure to sunlight. Uh, okay. So it looks like all that. I've been recording for a little over an hour, but I do want to play just a little more, honestly. Uh, just to see what else there is I can find. Because I am into it right now. I'm very much into this right now. And it is daytime. Uh, we're, we're just going to head this way. Good feeling about this way. What are you? Oh, you're a frozen... Oh, it got frozen. Poor guy. A lot of things got frozen here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Hey. No. See, this place kind of looks barren. Oh, I want to try and catch... I want to try and catch one of these. Ow! Oh, I caught one. Alright, cool. Oh, I can't let... New creature oh. discovered. It just took a while to do that. Whoa, okay. I didn't... I didn't see this when I was here last time because it was really dark. Uh, where are you? Pathfinder tool. Oh, I need oxygen. Um... Oxygen. No, wrong thing. Uh, where's the Titan hole fish? Holy fuck. Am I gonna make that? Oh, okay. That's not a whole lot. Uh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Oxygen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, those did not give me H... Oh, H... That's water. Why, why did I think this whole time... I'm dead. Oh, there's so much more forgiving in this one. Oh my god. I don't know why I read fucking H2O as oxygen. I'm fucking stupid. I was like speed running the reading for that. And I was just like, oh, it gives me more oxygen. Oh. Golly. That was dumb of me. Well, hey, I filled up on my food, I guess. Okay, so what's here? Because I kind of need to hurry. All Terra beacon signature detected. Unique identifier. Delta Station Dock. Yes, gee, Delta don't, oh. Station. This is the place Lil mentioned in her message. Just got some Titan. <laughs> Ow! Hey! Jerk. Okay, Crisis Averted. That was close. Almost had my first death there. Um, Anything else out here? I'm kind of far. Oh. That's also kind of far. What are you? You look very cool. That's a creature egg. Not so cool anymore. Kind of gross. Ow! Stop it. Ow! Stop! <laughs> okay, we're... Ooh, there's like smokestacks out here. What are you? Hello. Featherfish, you look really cool. I'm gonna take Walking. you... 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, all right, all right, fine. New creature discovered. Wait a minute, is there... So I can stop... I should have checked this earlier. I should have made an air bladder so I could save my, uh, Seekwide battery. Is this another creature egg? No. I'm stupid. Okay. I am blind, stupid, and... Oh, hello. Okay, so it's one of those... You make loud noise. I don't like loud noise. I think I just got gold. Yeah, okay, cool. I would break more of these, but I don't have much storage space, so... Kinda gross, but alright. Alright, hey buddy, hey buddy. You're a chompy boy. Well, I couldn't slash him. Okay, fine, fine. I will leave Warning. you alone. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Ooh, there's another creature there. What are you? It's not still okay. Rock puncher. Sorry if you guys hear that. My dog is barking. Well, not my dog, but rock puncher. Okay. 
Well, considering you're a puncher, I'm assuming if I get too close to you, you're gonna punch me. I'll read your file here in a bit. Man, it's very dark out here. Probably from all the smog from these things. Are you a thing? No. Okay. We're almost to this dock here. Okay. Definitely a volcanic region. A lot more rock punchers out this way. Wait, what? Oh, climb. Cool. I don't need to just go find a ladder. This looks a lot... Okay, hang on. Let me go... Ugh. Silly dog is just barking at the mailman. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna save. Okay, so what's here? This looks like really gorgeous, but also really terrifying. Coffee vending machine? I don't like coffee. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that on... Um, on this channel, but yeah, I, I don't like coffee. Oh, you can't collect these anymore. Well, I guess I should have guessed that from the last time I saw them, but. Oh, my temperature's going down. More water. Wait, what? Oh. Okay. Okay, well, I definitely want to do some exploring, but... This is a recorded message. If you can hear this, you're trespassing. If you know it's good for you, you'll get the hell out of here. Uh... Oh, thermal lilies. Yeah, so, yeah, these guys give out heat. That's good. Well, I'm trespassing. I don't know if there's anything that way. I can barely really see with the snow particles and stuff in my way. What is this? Honeycomb fungus. Ugh. It's kind of gross now that I know it's a fungus. What's over to here? Okay, just more. I couldn't... It is really dark. I can't really see. I guess this is why you would make the flashlight, at least in this game. What? Oh. Blue scrub brush. Um, oh, okay. Ah, more heat boys, thank you. There's a generator here. Uh, I already have a mineral detector. I'll take the sulfur, sure. PDA. Uh, we're kind of in a safe spot. Uh, gave me this jailbroken scanner tool thing and said I need more shower heads. This should... What? He also told me to keep it on the down low. Uh, certific certificate in applied geology gets you these days a job as a glorified construction worker. Uh, I should have studied interstellar law, like Dad said. That sounds complicated. <laughs> I have to hand it to him. Uh, okay. So I guess this was all for the mineral detector fragment to learn about, but I already have it, so... Alright, I mean, we'll just keep going. There was like a whole little, like, radar tower thing going off of. Oh, what the fuck? Stop right there, Altera. You're out of bounds. I'm not with Altera. Oh, hey, calm down. Your position is doubly precarious. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait! Who are you? Stay off. There's someone living here? Like the woman in the exosuit has been traced as far as my technology will allow. It would appear I'm far less alone on this planet than I had anticipated. Signal location <laughs> uploaded to PDA. She got far. Okay, well. I think you just told me to stay off your land, but ooh, scanner room. I somehow have a habitat builder. What was I just saying? <laughs> oh, it only took one. Holy crap. Okay, cool. Oh, your your place is uh looking a bit run down. 
Oh god, okay. Battery charger, cool. I wonder if I can actually put that uh, in my... Wait, I can actually go in. That power transmitter. You wouldn't let me scan that from outside? Okay. Interesting. Jukebox? Okay, I like it. I dig it. Terra facilities map. I couldn't even really see that. Multi-purpose. come in handy. I should be able to find my way to Phi Robotics where Sam worked. I'm going to enjoy building my base in this. I just got to find a place that. Okay, the sun is rising. I was like, why is it getting orange? Yo, this lady had. This lady had. So I guess her name is Jeremiah. I'm taking your poster, I guess. I'm just taking this one. Well, wait, no, this is an Altera place. Obviously, right? Because, I mean, there's Altera stuff here, so she doesn't... I don't think she lives here. Damage modification station. Damn, so I'm going to have to find another... Oh, no, okay. Pick... Okay. There's so much random stuff to just be had, but I, I love it. I'm enjoying it. There's so many posters. Oh my god, Fred's bed. How much is- okay. Well, I enjoy that I'm gonna be able to decorate my base with a whole bunch of stuff. Fred, Chance, Jeremiah, Merkel. Okay, let me just double check first aid. Or, yeah, I almost missed those. My inventory is looking a bit full. We can still kind of look around. Oh, yeah, there's a whole other thing here and then up there. I can't scan the... These big doorways, so maybe I already have them unlocked. Cushy setup. Must belong to one of those higher-uppers. So, did they abandon the... Can I take it? Can I take it, please? Sam really got under management skin. I didn't know she had it in her. There's so much. Oh, I can scan it, okay. Aquarium, cool. I like the fact that I just have... Wait, what was I... Oh, the observatory, of course. They still have food, too, in here. What? How is this not frozen over? I mean, I'm glad I'm getting all this. I'm just kind of surprised they would give it to you like this, though. Mmm. Yummy. I have no idea what this stuff is, aside from, like, probably a carton of milk or something, but... But okay, we got a lot of stuff. Not missing anything in here. Okay, you can stop doing that now. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, it's not like they're giving it to me. Like in the first Omnaka, you had to find an island to get all that stuff. And I essentially found an island, so I'll take it. What are you? Okay, I can't scan you. What? Oh, I almost missed that. So yeah, so that's an Altera PDA, so obviously, you know, this is an Altera place, so where, so that woman isn't with Altera. So that is surveillance, uh, status report. Okay. I guess we're just gonna explore this whole thing, because I can. Hello, thank you. Uh... I'm assuming I'm going to be coming back here at some point. Sorry. I guess I should go find the lady. Okay. Skyray, please wait. Oh, man, my scan distance can go far. Yeah, he's not coming back. Ah. 
That's annoying. Come on. Just let me scan you. What? what? Why did I just... Am I supposed to hit them out of the sky so I can scan them? Yeah! Dang. Damn. Well, okay, I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. But, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm wasting way too much time trying to get a scan off of these guys. Let's go find this pilot off that way. I'll be back for you guys, eventually. Ooh, this is, uh... I don't know if I can make that. Maybe if I do it from here? No, definitely not. Okay. We'll just take this one step at a time. What? Excuse me? All right. Key... I don't really like where I'm at all of a sudden. It is really open. I'm really far away from my pod. Okay, okay. Okay, some familiar territory. Okay. I'm not as, uh, only nine charge. Dang it. Protecting stone of an astronautical Saltrans go vessel nearby. Vessel name, Mercury 2. Inoperative. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, okay, 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 guys, listen. I'm just coming up here to get some oxygen. I'm not here to challenge you. Okay. This thing is huge! Don't tell me I have to go explore this thing. Oh hey, titanium scrap. I'm not gonna bother with that though right now. There's there's a lot of noises that I don't really like right now. Warning, passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay. Warning. You know what? 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. What was that noise? What are Oh, okay. It's just more sharks. I don't like this area. Okay, I don't want to come back here until um I don't want to come back here for a little bit because she's a lot deeper. She is 300 meters deep. There's no way I'd survive getting down there, so we're just gonna head back. Now see, this is a lot more comfortable, because I can at least see things. It's not just an endless ocean of blank. Just nothing. That's what terrifies me about, like, open... Oh my god, okay, hold up. I'm really curious. There's an oxygen plant. is. What the hell is down here? Warning. Passing 100 meters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. This is like... This alien technology exhibits a data signature that strongly correlates with the previously recorded distress call. Interesting. How about I can use this new data to identify where that call was coming from? There's a Signal lot location of uploaded to PDA. That's pretty far. Okay. Warning. Thirty seconds of right, oxygen let's get remaining. Here. Okay, well I'm glad my curiosity didn't get me killed. Alright, so before I go into uh what is it? Before I go into like my uh, little PDA do stuff, like we're gonna end the episode after we do that. I'm just gonna make a water lock. Can I just put it here? Wait. Oh wait, what if? 
Hang on. What do I need for the habitat builder? Computer chip and a wiring kit. I have two silver, the computer chip. I might actually have everything I need to make this. I made the battery, that's right. So, I'm honestly, actually, I'm gonna go get those. Because I do want to make this habitat builder, because I want to see if I can build inside here, or if it's gonna want me to build a base, like, just, com you know, just a brand new base completely. Because uh, if I can get a battery recharger, that would help quite a bit. Because, I mean, I have the blueprint for it. I just don't know if it's going to let me, because, like, those little spots where, um, oh, not these. Wait, what about these? Silver, sure. Yeah, I would like to see if it lets me build inside my life pod where those little um, boxes are. Because that would be really nice. Whoa. I haven't been here yet. More of the sharks. Oh, hello. What are you? Oh. There's just one little piece of table coral here. Alright. Take it. Only one. Man. Uh, they updated it so, like, in the first of Nautica, when you hit one, you got, like, four. Okay. Oh, I already had. Never mind. I'm full? Because I have the boomerang. Uh. Fuck it. Any more table coral? Yes. Just one more. Alright, let's go back. Hang on, what the hell are you? You look cool. Arctic ray. Warning. Okay. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Ooh, that looks creepy cool. I love that. Oh yeah, I have the water locker. What am I doing? Uh, we'll just store all this stuff in here for now. Never mind, can't fit that. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> I would have had more inventory space had I known I was just lugging that thing around. Well, if I remembered, I knew I was lugging it around. I just forgot to put it down. Alright, advanced wiring kit. Wait, no. I just need a wiring kit and the computer chip. Uh, why do I do this all the time? I mean, I have that now for when I need it, but... I'll be right back. All right, there we go. Adding Finally. Shelter blueprints to your data bank. Also, I saw something with the builder tool. You can construct sea bases from raw materials, advising against exploring a frozen water continent without a base. No bed, no storage, no place to put a fabricator module. No fun. So, I don't know what this is. But I'm assuming I can put stuff in it at some point. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about that right now. But I got the freaking habitat builder. So we're going to see. Oh, it doesn't come with a battery. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They used to come with batteries, I thought. Okay, well. Yeah, so I have all this. I want to see jukebox speaker. Okay, I like it. I dig it. Whoa. No, okay. So yeah, just like in the first one, you can't build inside your uh, inside your thing. So that's a rip. So yeah, we'll have to... Wow, all right. There's a hole. Interesting. So, once I... The way that I like doing, like, base building in games is, like, I have to find, like, a good place with, like, a good 
you know, a view that I don't mind looking at for the rest of my time playing the game. So I'll probably be doing, be doing that in my free time when I get a base like started up. It's gonna take a lot of titanium, all right. I have quite a bit, so yeah. I'll probably make a foundation, at least a foundation for a base um, in my free time and then we'll start up from there. So yeah, I'm just gonna focus on building a base. But anyway, that is Subnautica Below Zero and um, obviously I'm gonna keep playing this. Like I am very much into it. It's a brand new experience for me. Never touched it, never seen anything for it. Or at least I did like way back when it was first in early access. I don't remember anything. So all this was like a brand new experience. I'm really enjoying it so far. And um, yeah, I'll be sure to make more of these. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, or do whatever. And I will see you guys next time.